Okay, welcome back. So every 100 milliseconds, an amplitude spike should be added to the screen. First of all, you need to get the amplitude every 100 milliseconds. Fortunately, the media recorder has a max amplitude method that returns the max amplitude since the last call. If you call it every 100 milliseconds, you'll get the max amplitude of the last 100 milliseconds. Therefore, you have a real-time representation of your voice amplitude. You also already have a function that is called every 100 milliseconds, and that is the onTimer take function. All you need to do now is give the waveform object the max amplitude every take. So in the waveform class, let's add a new function and call it add amplitude. It gets a, an amplitude of type float. And what it does with it, each time you get a new amplitude, you should store it in a list. Create this list here and call it amplitude array list of floats and initialize it here. In the amplitude here, call amplitude or add amplitude function, call amplitudes dot add give it the amplitude. This function here has the responsibility to put it on the screen by asking for a canvas draw. But first we need to get another list for our rectangles. So let's just copy paste this here, rename it to spikes and change the type to rect f. While you're here let's add some other variables like the radius Set it to 6 uh, and also a spike width. Call it W and set it to 9. And it is private. So remember to create a rectangle, we need to give it four information the starting X and Y, call them respectively left and top, and the ending X and Y, respectively right and bottom them here var left equals let's start at zero and top let's start at zero two now for the right it should be left plus the width and for the bottom it should be the amplitude now let's add this into spikes, uh, new rectangle F and give it left, top, right and bottom. In the draw method, uh, let's remove this and loop over spikes. And for each one of them, call the canvas dot draw round rectangle and give it the it variable that is a rectangle and the radius two times and the paint object. So the draw method is only called once at creation and the add amplitude needs to trigger it each time it is called using the invalidate built-in view method. So at the end of add amplitude call invalidate. Now let's head to the main activity. Here call the waveform dot add amplitude and give it the recorder dot max amplitude and get it to float. Okay, if we run this, you should see some spikes. If you start recording, you should see only one spike, even though the method is called a hundred times a second, that's cause they are stacked on top of each other. So I'd like to start drawing from the right end of the screen and move them a step at a time each time a new amplitude is added. So to draw a rectangle at the end of the screen, the starting X position should be set to the screen width minus the object width. Therefore, we need to get the screen width and you can easily get it in the init block here. 
let's actually first define a variable bar screen width set it to zero at start also get the same thing for the screen height and we know that is 400 pixels because we defined it as such in the main activity here and in the init block call sw equals resources dot display metrics dot width pixels to float okay now in the add amplitude the left variable should be set now to sw minus w and leave the right as it was now let's run it again and we should see it here but the same problem they are stacked on top of each others as i said each time a new amplitude is added the rectangles should step back so before we dive in let's see how we could achieve this with a drawings so let's say this is our view this is the view width that is also the screen width and we have some spikes each spike has a width of w and a starting point here for the first one or the last one and it has a spacing between itself and other spikes and the end of the screen so if i want to draw this one i should give it a position that is sw so here minus d minus w to start here minus w and minus d so that is the starting position the left position and the right position it's the same thing plus w it's here the previous one here starts at sw minus all the space occupied by this spike and the remaining space that is this one here sw minus or actually w minus d and also another d here and another w so that is sw minus 2 w plus d so if we want to start here to draw this one then you guess it it's all this minus this so there is one w one d and another w another d and w another d and w that is minus three w's and d's so you should see where i'm headed you can use a general formula that goes as left equals sw minus e times w plus d so let's say this is our spike lists this is the first position the second one and the third one so the first one is one times w plus d so sw minus w plus d the right one the correct position for the second one it's the index that is two the third one the index is three and so on till the last one 